it has become necessary to address you on recent events in some parts of the country that have threatened our collective security and shaken the foundation of our corporate existence as a nation. You are all aware of the security challenges which the activities of the Boko Haram sect have foisted on the country. What began as sectarian crisis in the northeastern part of the country has gradually evolved into terrorist activities in different parts of the country with further negative consequences to our national security. Governments, in an effort to find a lasting solution to the security threats occasioned by the activities of the Boko Haram sect, constructs a presidential committee under the chairmanship of Ambassador Osman Gabriel Gatman to ascertain the immediate and remote causes of the crisis. What efforts have been made to implement the recommendations of the committee? The crisis has assumed a terrorist dimension with vital institutions of government, including the United Nations building and places of worship becoming targets of terrorist attacks. While the search for lasting solution is ongoing, it has become imperative to take some decisive measures necessary to restore normalcy in the country, especially within the affected community. Consequently, I have, in the exercise of the powers conferred on me, by the provisions of Section 305, Subsection 1 of the Constitution, declare the state of emergency in the following parts of the Federation, namely in Borono State, Medigre Metropolitan Local Government, Gaboru Gaba Local Government, Parkin Bama Local Government, View local government and general local government. In Yorba State, the matter of local government, Gaidam local government, Watescom local government, Mundiale Gujba local government, and Gasho Padre local government. In part of state, just not local government and just south local government, Barking Ladi local government and Riyam local government. In Niger State, Suleja local government. The details of this proclamation will be transmitted to the National Assembly as soon as they reconvene from their current residence for their necessary action. The Chief of Defense Staff and Inspector General of Police have been directed to put appropriate measures in place to ensure the protection of lives and property of residents in the affected parts of the country. I therefore urge the political leadership in the affected states and local government areas to give maximum cooperation to the law enforcement agencies deployed to their respective communities to ensure that the situation brought under control within the shortest possible time. The Chief of Defense Staff, in collaboration with other service chiefs, has also been directed to set up a special force unit within the armed forces with dedicated counter-terrorism responsibilities. As part of the overall strategy to overcome the current security challenges, I have directed the closure of the land borders contiguous to the affected local government areas so as to control incidences of cross-border terrorist activities. As terrorists have taken advantage of the present situation to strike at targets in Nigeria and retreat beyond the reach of our law enforcement personnel. Let me assure our neighbors, especially within the ECOWAS sub-region of Nigeria's commitment to its international obligations as provided by the ECOWAS protocol on free movement of 
present. The temporary closure of our borders in the affected areas is only an interim measure designed to address the current security challenges and will be reviewed as soon as normalcy is restored. I commend the efforts of our political leaders at various levels, as well as our traditional and religious leaders, for their support for the various conflict resolution mechanisms and peace building measures that have been initiated by this administration. We call on the citizenry to continue to provide useful information to our law enforcement agencies to enable us to arrest the situation. Terrorism is a war against all of us. I call on all Nigerians to join hands with government to fight these terrorists. I wish all Nigerians a very happy new year. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria.